Members of the gay community gathered recently to discuss the issues of gay parenting. Guest speaker Rachel Epstein of the LGBT Parenting Network is a parent of a 17-year-old girl conceived by artificial insemination. Her biggest concern as a gay parent is how her child would be treated in school. So we tried to kind of choose schools where we thought the level of homophobia would be less. And for the most part, um, she did. She was okay at school. She didn't have too many negative experiences. And partly, like we were talking about tonight, I think like we, we protect our kids by decreasing the, the level of shame that they, that they carry. So it's really important that our kids not be feeling like there's something wrong with them, something wrong with their family, any of that. And then if that's the case, then they, they can't really be gotten at that place. And I think that's, I'm hoping that that's been my daughter's experience. Local gay activist and parent Gary Kingsman said his 16-year-old son has faced discrimination and feels the entire school system needs to change to reflect sexual diversity. It's two because he has two dads. He's been queer baited or fag baited on his way to and from school a number of times. So there's been there's been some real difficulties as well. Um, and I really think one of the central problems is actually dealing with the type of heterosexism and homophobia that seems to be constantly produced in the schools. It has to do with the assumptions that the school is built on, the assumption of sort of having the heterosexual family as being um, the family that sends kids to schools. That really has to be demolished and done away with. We really need a lot more respect for sexual and cultural diversity in the schools.